Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you all? I hope you all are fine with the grace of Almighty Allah. Today we will learn how we can install the Python in our system and we will see how we can also install uh, Python and the latest version and with PyCharm IDE on Windows 11. So it's a little bit uh, technical enough so that is why uh, we will go step by step and we will learn how we can install the Python on the PyCharm Py IDE on Windows 11. So let's start here. So if you need to install it first, you need to know whether it is installed in your uh, system already. The Python is already installed in your system or not. So how we can check this one? Go to the CMD and write here uh, CMD. Let me check here CMD and write here Python. Python and press enter. If it is installed, it will show. You can see here. It means it is not installed now. If you need to get the Python from the Microsoft Play Store, so you can get it here. But we will not install this one because it is not the latest one. So so far the latest one is 3.11, I think. So we will go to the official Python website and we will we will install it there. Okay. So because here, just we check either it is installed in our system or not, and it went directly to the Microsoft Store. So we will keep it down and uh, this one also. So we will go to the official website, which is python.org. Python.org you can see here it is 3.11.1 this is the latest version of the windows and uh, in the Microsoft Play Store it was showing 3.10 which was not correct so this is the official uh, Python download uh, website so better to go here and you can download so just click it here on the download and it will uh, start this downloading page here and uh, then you can start see here so here we have two options install python 3.11 64 bit and install but it is very lengthy path you can see here very lengthy path so we don't want this lengthy path we will customize the installation here and let me go back and add this one okay use admin privileges when installing python and add the python exe path as well so what we need to do so we need to customize it okay in the customized path and uh, then what we will do it here uh, yeah here uh, keep it as it is and uh, then uh, click it next and uh, if you want to add more feature like pre-compiled standard libraries yes we want debugging symbols yes we want it and uh, all these things and but here we want to uh, here this customized path okay but this customized path what we want to do here just one minute and we want to delete everything and in the C drive okay in the C drive we want to uh, select this one in the C drive okay so uh, directly we want to install because we don't want to go this 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 is means a many folder and inside that folder we will install no in the C drive itself we want to install it so in that case uh, just click it on install and it will start installation yes now you can see it starts the installation process so meantime what we will do uh, it will take some little bit time no just maybe two or three minutes and uh, after that uh, we will go to the cmd and we will uh, check whether it has been installed or not and uh, now let me just wait for two minutes uh, i think now it is going to be finished so then we will check in the cmd either it has been installed or not so just uh, two minutes here uh, it is going to be finished in couple of seconds after that again we will go to the cmd and uh, we, uh, we will see if either it has been installed in our system or not just we need to type the python and uh, then we need to check the, the version and all those things and uh, just uh, wait for a while now you can see a new python startup setup was successful disable path we will not select anything now just click close and go to the cmd and here just write python and uh, version now you can see here python was not found what happened v e r s i o n version python version so now here now we need to go to the cd cd now here python double dash version so here python version so here we will see what happened we need to restart it and then we'll come back so we will come back in couple of minutes and then we will see why it is not showing the python or we can see here the python python now you can see here okay well let me let me restart it let me restart it so then it will take effect okay so we, uh, we will come back in couple of minutes now you can see here if we want to see the python version so what we need to type the command python just write python hyphen uh, hy hyphen hyphen version and now you will see here the python version is 3.11 so it is uh, 
installed so this is the version you can check okay so and uh, down pip we can also pip uh, pip version we can also check the pip version pip version the pip version we can it will also show you the pip version pip 22.3.1 and uh, so this is the latest pip 3. Point, uh, so this is on the 3.11 version uh, pip 22.3.1 just type here python python so th this is the python uh, REPL it is going to be open here you can just type the the command and you can get the the result at the same time so okay so if you just type here 5 plus 5 then it will add these two number and give you the result okay let's 6 plus 9 it will give you this one and then you can see here if you type here print and uh, just uh, first program first program let's do first program now you can see here so no oh my God. here just we need to type here now you can see here this is the inbuilt print functions here so you can check here okay so so this is a uh, that's all you can see and now we will we will install and uh, we will install the python id uh, ide uh, pycharm uh, on this windows 11 this is our next target now uh, now we will install the pycharm and you, this pycharm is one of the best ide i ever used it with uh, so how we can install the pycharm so just write here in the google pycharm download pycharm or just write by charm c h a r m charm just uh, this is the first one just click it here and it will uh, lead you to pycharm ide now here you can uh, download this one there, there will be two pro uh, just click it here now we will use the community version and here just one minute accept all and uh, download the community version here and uh, we will download it here now it will take some time so we will come i will come back in a couple of minutes uh, uh, my downloading uh, PyCharm is finished now. Let me click it on this exe file and uh, then we will start our installation process. Now, you can see here, just click it here, uh, click on the yes button because it will ask you do you want to allow this app to make change to your device? Just click it yes. Then, next, and here this is uh, the default destination folder where it will install and uh, i will just pycharm community edition create the desktop it means so it will uh, create the shortcut here and uh, add bin folder uh, to the path so it this required restart uh, this needed restart okay so you need to restart then it will affect add open folder as a project yes and create associate so check all and click next and click install and it will start the installation process if you want to see the detail about all the files which are going to be installed here you can check here so now it will take maybe four to five minutes and then i will restart my computer and then i will come back uh, again yes now uh, i have restarted my system and now the python uh, pycharm has been installed so just click it on the pycharm uh, pycharm this is the, the agreement you can read and just confirm it continue data sharing don't send it this pycharm uh, has been installed in your system click on new project and uh, and this is the, the the location so where it will save uh, the files the python file or the project files let's say i just want to write here uh, hello world okay hello world just this is the name of the the project and here no need to select anything just keep it as a virtual pip and or keep it as, as it is and this is the location where it will save and uh, this is the interpreter so our interpreter is the python 3.11 so in the, this is the location of our python interpreter okay so just click here create and it will create the the file here okay uh, the project file so now you can uh, now your python is ready so now you can write the program and this is just a simple python script if you need to run it you can right click it here and just click it on run this is the one option the second option here just click on this uh, green button and click run then, then it will show the pycharm high pycharm you can see here so that's all for uh, for this one now we will start our formal uh, drone programming uh, in couple of days we will uh, we will start so that's all for today thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, this channel or this video see you inshallah
in next video and the next video it will be totally on the python uh, how you can use the python for the drone